Well, uh, my front video got cut off. Uh, I was just going to talk about Wiggle Delight, how uh, I'm very interested to see how she is going to turn out in 2020. This is a filly who's a sister to Mr. Wiggles' uh, sire in Ohio. And um, a sire in Ohio and a filly that took a two-year-old mark of 153-2 and two and made 40000 Pretty interested to see how she's going to pan out in 2020 and beyond. Now, I told you guys a uh, two-year-old video. It's no point in doing the two-year-olds again, eh? I'll send all those horses. You know where they're all at. The, none of the dates have changed when they're coming back in um, and how they've been and where they're at. So, uh, I'm going to go to the yearlings. The yearlings. Now, this list, again, I didn't redo the list. So, there's going to be a gap between the ones we had, the Harrisburg horses, and a couple of private ones that come in. I still don't know Bob's two horses' name. Blue Monk and... I can't remember the other one. Anyway, um, I'm going to get right to it. Adrenaline Rush is now a gelding. I guess we could have done a gelding list, so I need everybody to pay attention. We did have some horses gelded last week. <coughs> With the weather and the time off, it just made for an opportune time to facilitate the castrations, if you will. So, um, uh, Adrenaline Rush is now a gelding, and I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I got them mixed up. Adrenaline Rush is not a Sunshine Beach. Adrenaline Rush is uh, Royal Majesty. Uh, this is the brother to um, um, the brother to the big filly we had last year from Daryl, uh, Miss Brampton Beast. This is her brother, Adrenaline Rush. He is a Royal Majesty. We castrated this colt last week. Great gait. Uh, he can carry his speed, but you really got to get into him to get him to do it, and I don't like that, so uh, we just opted to castrate him right off the hop. So he is. Argento is not castrated. He's going good. Looks good in the top burn. Better's Hope. Danny had asked me to castrate Better's Hope. We'll probably leave him a little bit, but no need to have a cranky little Better's Delight. He can really pace. He's really fast. Certainly don't want his attitude getting in the way if he has one. So let's. I'm going to let it play out closer to Christmas, whereas... Um, I got to make sure Danny didn't put him on the castration list already, but I want to let it play out a little bit as to how he looks. Now, having said that, he is a little smaller, and the belief is if you leave them a stud, they grow up bigger, and it's not really the case. They fill out quicker if you do castrate them. So, better's hope. Uh, let's say he's on the bubble. Let's say he's on the bubble, but doing his work good. He looked great on the track pacing the other day. Braymar, here's a colt that... Uh, he's been very skittish. I see they got bandages on him in the top, aren't they? I'm very happy to see that. He's going to be going to get those OCDs out very, very soon out of his back ankles. Yesterday, he... um, I was at the barn and I brushed them in. You brushed, you didn't brush Braymar. No, um, I brushed them a grown-up horse in the back. A grown-up horse? Oh, final answer. Yeah, I brushed her yeah. and I him. cleaned up her stall. Him, his stall. Anyway, well, thank you very much for that, Ollie. Are you uh, looking for some money or something? Is that what you're after? No. Okay, good. So, Braymar, we're going to take those OCDs out of his hind ankles. No problems there. They're in great spots, as far as I'm told by the by the vet. There shouldn't be any problems. Right now, they don't need to come out optically looking at him go. He looks perfect. The problem is, is much like we talked about this with Excellent Nation, how he trained down good. The vet said, leave the OCD in. Then we got to the qualifiers, and he's over on the shaft a little bit. Needed to come out. Cost him his two-year-old season. Not a big deal. He wasn't ready to pace 51, 52 with, the, with those things in Ohio. So, the time off... Uh, waiting till his almost his three-year-old season might be a blessing in disguise. So, Braymar, we're going to take those OCDs out of him first part of December. Broadway roll looked great yesterday. We actually went a mile probably around three minutes with her. She looked good. Uh, there was a very select group of horses that trained yesterday, trained yesterday, and Broadway roll was one of them. Cambridge Stars trotting really nice. Looks great. Um, this is a little tiny guy. They call him the little troll over here. The little tiny um, Cantab Hall Colt. He looked good. I went with him yesterday. He's ready to start training. Uh, can't deny my spirit. He's definitely ready to start training. This colt does everything good. Now, they told me he is getting a little study. We opted not to castrate him yet, but that may be coming also. But for now, can't deny my spirit. Definitely a good-looking colt. Can't muscle me. She had a little temperature yesterday, so I didn't train her. But train her anytime. She is one good-looking filly. She trots nice on the track. Uh, you know, when we go back and talk about shares that, that are uh, supposedly there but shouldn't be there, this is a filly I'm going to be working on. Over the next couple of weeks, the last sale to get paid for everything is Harrisburg. I'm going to be working to move some shares of horses. Can't Muscle Me is right on the top of the list. There's no particular reason this filly should have any shares left yet 
She has a lot. Another filly right under her. She's all fixed up now. She had a hernia. She paced yesterday a uh, whole mile really good. Probably even ready to start training is Captain's Maid. This is Sunshine and Shade's half-sister by Captain Treacherous. How does she have any shares left at the stable.ca where we're racing her colt in the final of the Autumn Series? Probably going to be one of the one of the heavy favorites in that series tonight and has actually proved that he's going to be a very useful horse for us here at the stable. He's a Sunshine Beach. This is his Captain Treacherous sister, yet tons of shares left in her. Don't know why. Uh, Carry Big Stick is doing his job well. Here's ours with no shares left. He's doing his job very, very well. Has been doing his job well for a while, and I suspect that will continue. Cut the line. Mario Bergeron raves about how how good this filly is. This is a better than Cheddar's sister to brush cut, and he really really likes this filly so I guess we'll see how she's going to turn out Desperado he was just castrated a little while ago um, he's going good in the burn right now this is the well said Colt uh, Ohio bred uh, Eternity Road he's one of the Southwind Spirits we did castrate him James said he was just you know he's a little skittish and looking at everything but he said I think kind of it is his attitude you know he plays on it and and uh, there's no real reason for him to be a uh, stud, so we guessed, castrated him. So Eternity Road is now a gelding. First glance is going good. He looked great the last I week. When I got into the barn, I had first glance. Oh, what color is he? Gray. Aha. Uh -huh. First glance, all he knows, he's a gray horse. He looks great on the track. Facts. And he's really nice. He's really nice, yeah. Fox Valley Britska. This horse uh, is a fresh <laughs> gelding also from last week. This is uh, the horse by whom shall I fear. It was a full brother to Father Patrick. And uh, Indiana bred. Really happy with the way this guy trots. I'm going to move him around a little bit. He's over in Steve's shed row. I'm going to move him to a different shed row soon. Um, just shake things up with him. Keep him on his toes. Uh, girls with swirls. Danny goes with her every day and loves this filly. This is the Angus Hall that we bought off of On Gate. And they had the On Gate yearling sale. So we had purchased girls with swirls. Very, very happy with that purchase so far. Gray is the new red. Been sick a couple of times, but she really paces nice on the track. She put it on us yesterday. She's definitely ready to start training. Looks great on the track. GW Chrome, another horse that looks good. Going to have to tinker with him a little bit this week. He made a couple little breaks on James yesterday, but I think he's just being a goofball. <coughs> so we're going to work it. I kind of like the Pittsburgh Penguins. No, Pittsburgh so Penguins are terrible. No, 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 they're terrible. So I no, went to Jersey, no. and he wasn't here. Oh, that's too bad. So GW Chrome is going good and will continue to this week. I'm going to go with him all week. Holy Chicks, a filly that always goes nice and trots nice. Her and the next one, a glare AM, both look very, very good. Couldn't be any happier with them. And the next one also, I'm a Lovely Lady. That's the My MVP filly for multiple reasons. We're keeping a very close look, uh, very close eye on the My MVPs because both of our brood bears are in full to My MVP. So I'm a Lovely Lady turning some heads here at the stable, and I hope she continues to. I'm Hill on Wheels is going really, really good. Hit some issues with him, but the vet said just leave, leave well enough alone and don't go poking the bear. So I'm Hill on Wheels. Got a, a green light from the vet moving forward as far as um, any OCD removals. There were a couple there. She said, leave them alone. So we will. Keystone Raven is going good. That's the uh, Better's Delight filly. She's another one too. We might move her around to keep her on her toes. We'll see how she is over the next two, three weeks. Let's Roll On was fast, freshly castrated last week. Just want to make sure this guy's head is on straight the whole time. Uh, I don't have time for his training, in his time, training schedule for him to get steady and get a little goofy and I need him to focus, so we went ahead and castrated, let's roll on. Miss Meringue's got it all together now, she looked great going yesterday. Few in the burn look as good as the next one though, Mama Knows Best, the, the most inexpensive horse we purchased in 2019, looks like one of the best ones on the track right now, so we'll see if that changes throughout the year, she might just be a, a real blessing in disguise. A horse that uh, I was really, really impressed with. Here's another perfect example of horses with shares left for no particular reason, Momo. This is Ollie's horse. Momo looked fantastic yesterday. She feels like a trainer at about 25 right now. I just let her scoot for three-eighths of a mile. There's nobody really ready to train with her, so I just trained her three-eighths of a mile yesterday. This is a racing hill filly out of a very, very strong family and tons of shares left on her. So for those of you out there saying, where did the shares go on this one? Where did the shares go on that one? I'd get in when you can because I'm going to be working my butt off to move a lot of these shares this week so we can I get Harris. Him. That's where you picked her. So I... I so I can I get. I like her name and, and at 
and she's nice. Yeah, she is. So we'll um, we'll be moving That's Momo okay. shares also this week as quickly as we can. My Jazz continues to do her work well. Another my MVP Philly that we're keeping a close eye on. No free lunch. This is a Sunshine Beach. I apologize. The Sunshine Beach brother to Chocolate Milk. Toast, I believe is the name of the horse. Raced in the golds all this year. Northern Blizzard, Danny has asked me to castrate this colt just because he's acting up, but he can really trot on the track. I might go with him Monday. I want to let him dance along and see how he seems. Perfect record, a little sick right now, but trotting great all year. Always does his work well. Here's a horse I was certain we were going to have to castrate. Now I don't think we ever will have to. Just a beautiful horse in the track and a really nice horse in the burn. Rose Run Wanda back going full steam after getting that cryo, uh, that curb cryo. Not a big deal there. Danny said she looks great on the track. Rose Run, why not? Uh, a couple little OCDs, but the vet said don't touch those. And again, there's a thin line between, uh, you know, so when we talk about Excellent Nation, how I wish I had taken the OCD out. We could have taken it out last year, but it wasn't bothering him. Rose Run, why not's OCD in her ankle is in a place where it should never bother her. So the vet said, you know what, you, you, you're, you're taking a risk in taking it out. Just leave it alone. So we will in that regard. A lot of the times I'm going to defer, obviously, to the medical professionals when we're dealing with whether horses should have OCDs out or whatnot. So Rose Run, why not? Green light, go to the track with her. Roy Hill, freshly castrated. He was a little bit of a bugger, switching his tail and just being a brat on the track. So we castrated him. I suspect he'll be a new man, literally and metaphorically, uh, in the near future. Uh, Set the Mood was also castrated. I get him mixed up all the time with the other horse, uh, Surreal Love. They're both castrated, so we can get them mixed up all we want. Set the mood, look great on the track, but again, a little grabby. The Heston Blue Chips, we've had a couple. They can get a little grabby. It's going to nip that in the bud, so to speak, right now. Uh, so admirable, looks good. My only concern with the So Surreals, they've been sick like two or three times. I think at Christmas time, we're going to train them up good and turn them out for three weeks. Let their, let their immune system really recover. Uh, over the Christmas holidays. So I would say on the 23rd of December, any of the horses that have had any of these sicknesses plaguing them, we'll start them on x and we'll turn them out in the field to let them really recover best they can. Sunshine in May, she hasn't been sick yet. She's a little, little midget, but hold on, buddy. But she can really, really dance and she looks great on the track. She shows everybody what you're supposed to look like. She might not be big, but she's pretty flashy. And uh, Sunshine in May looked good again this week. Surreal Love, as I said, has been castrated. Um, no particular reason other than he didn't need to be a stud. He was getting a little hot and we opted to castrate him. Sweet Ambitions, Philly, she's trotting really nice now. She's got her head squarely on her shoulders. She was acting up a little bit at the start of the year, but that's all over with now and she's trotting perfectly. Tanzanite Tricks, this is a Trixton Philly. She looked good on the track, James said. Trots narrow up front, but she might get right up over her knees. For now, we'll probably put a little set of toe weights and knee boots on her. The knee boots, in case she does get close to that knee, the toe weights to help her get her up over top of that knee, which I suspect she will, and there won't be any problems. So uh, Tanzanite Tricks, trotting great every day now. I did not get to see Fat Cobra yesterday, but we got castrated him two weeks ago. I'm really excited to see what this guy's going to look like. Absolutely no issues with him from the veterinarian, so that's a... Yes, honey. I won um, 123 to 51. That's fantastic news. I'm very impressed. Yeah, he's awake. She is? Yeah. Oh, good. Leave her alone for now. So the Fat Cobra, really excited about how he's going to look in the coming weeks and months. Tipsy and Dixie looks great on the track. She stopped her kicking full-time anyway, and we will, uh, we will see how uh, Tipsy and Dixie looks come around Christmas time. Again, another filly that we probably train up a little bit this week. Try to tease me. Looks great. She's going to be on the training list also. Walk on the moon is starting to look really, really good. Pro he had some snot in his nose. I was going to say we put him on the, tra the training list, but I want to see what his temperature is tomorrow and what he looks like. War we was up. He was castrated last week. Just about to start back full-time schedule. Uh, War we welcome in a little temperature and didn't go yesterday, but trust me, She's ready to go anytime we want to go with her. And then well and down look good on the track. And you see a little goofy, a little fiery. She always is, but she looked really, really good on the track. So those are the horses that were in the barn. We're going to be right here. Talk about uh, the Harrisburg horses. Now, they're not in alphabetical order. I apologize. I'll get all this squared up today. I'll, I'll work on this uh, during football. That's when I'll do it. So Lincoln Hanover had a couple of splints cry out at the vet the other day. No big deal. 
Uh, he should be fine this week. Off-road Hanover looks good. That's the Trixton Colt, big Colt. Uh, Wayne went with him yesterday. A little goofy on the track, but we'll get him squared away and get him going this week. Stacy Hanover. So she was uh, the direction of some, uh, not some criticism, but uh, she looked great on the track this week. And then somebody came and bought all her shares. And somebody said, well, where's all the shares of Stacy? Guys, we bought Stacy almost three weeks ago. I've been talking about her for three weeks. And... I'm sorry that you didn't get to buy your shares. I'm sure we can work out something where the gentleman that bought the 88 shares may be able to accommodate some people. I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, Stacy Hanover is a well-bred filly. I thought was grossly undersold. She looked fantastic on the track yesterday. And now she is completely sold out. Another filly I believe is sold out is One My Heart Hanover. This is a Sebastian K filly that I thought very, very, very highly of all throughout the sale. We purchased her, we brought her home, we broke her. She is doing everything I've asked her to do. Just a beautiful, beautiful filly. Soros Blue Chip. The only thing James says is he's roaring, squealing, and striking all day. We have to castrate this colt. He's a beautiful American Ideal colt. Hi, hey, baby girl. She's a beautiful, uh, he's a beautiful American Ideal colt. We'll see how he looks. Finally got all the other horses broke this week. Jazzy Judy. I uh, was out in the track yesterday. She's got like 10 months to race, so it's no rush with Jazzy Judy. She looked great on the track yesterday. Frilly Fringes is ready to start training. She looked fantastic on the track yesterday. We got both Trafalgar's brother. I'm sorry, I can't remember the names of them. I'll get it right th this week. Uh, Trafalgar's brother by Up the Credit looked great. Uh, Capistrano's brother by Big Jim looked great. Uh, Utopian's brother, who never really got a ton of a chance here, uh, his name is Brilliant Corners. Danny loves this colt. Yesterday was the first day with the hobbles on. He looked good. Rito Sunshine was a little bit sick. He's on the castration list, but not until his temperature comes down. Beef and Cheddar looks good on the track. That's the brother to need your opinion. Uh, Royal Tyrone. Oh, she didn't make my list. Horses I'm interested to see come back. That's not fair. That's not fair. She should have made that list. Oh, well. Um, beef and cheddar is need your opinions brother he looks good Royal Tyrone the source Jody and Steph sent here um, uh, um, royalty for life cult Danny really likes him so he'll be entering the board soon for per share purchase uh, positions this week Barbie's crown looks good that's the horse that Steve had bought uh, he looks very, very good. We got Jesse Balboa broken going, the Indiana Colt. He looked great on the track with Danny. I thought it was Jody's horse, uh, and he was bouncing around a little bit. I said, is this guy still acting up? And he goes, acting up? He's only been on the harness three days. I said, what horse is that? He said, Jesse Balboa. He was in a set yesterday going. That's how talented that Colt is. Been in the harness three days. He was in a set. That's my girl. Looks absolutely great on the track. And then another horse you guys haven't heard about yet. He's a Guccio Colt. His name's Italian Grit. I got a little video that I shot of him. We'll attach that also. This is a Colt that we will begin selling shares on this week. He was sent here by Mark Adams from Winterwood Farms. Really good looking Colt. They said he was a little rough around the edges when he got here. He'd cut his leg in the trailer but he looked great on the track yesterday very very square gated trotter very interested to see how he's going to do coming coming back now we do have two horses that may be on their way next week one's a sports writer filly out of his sister to big jim the other one is a very good looking on video anyway very good looking sunshine beach filly um i don't really need them but uh the gentleman that's been calling me really wants to send them so the problem is at some point i gotta pay for them so I have to look at um, what we're trying to do now, and you guys are gonna be privy to that information just before it drops. But we have a very aggressive, aggressive plan, marketing plan sent out, set out for the winter, and it will be implemented very soon, hopefully. So a lot on the go here, that's all the babies, a lot on the go here at the stable, a lot happening. Probably had, I guess, as far as numbers is concerned, outside of money, our best week ever at the stable. We sent 11 horses out. All 11 made the top three. Uh, hopefully we can turn that into 12 tonight with sunshine and shade. That would be fantastic. So, it's been a great week uh, at the stable. Everything's going great. Please remember, there's a link on our site. There's a link on our Facebook. There's a link on this email to help out Braden Reibling. Ended up in a very bad car accident. Broke both his legs and an arm. Uh, and a fracture Brayden. in his face. Yeah, Braden, honey. And he needs uh, he needs our help. So we're doing all we can for him over the coming weeks and months to try and help out. So uh, from us at the stable, Braden, get well soon. 
and I will talk to everybody else throughout the week. Take care.